How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Slobber Knocker Challenge. This time, as you can see, coming down the aisle, it is one half of the Dudley boys. It is D. Vaughn Dudley. So the last uh, few times out, we've had China and Trish uh, struggle along the way with uh, their attempts. I am with uh, goes uh, at, at four and three respectively. Kurt Angle the week before that does uh, it did extremely well to match uh, the leading scores of ten. Uh, so we now have a three-way tie at the top. Devon Dudley is the next up to see if he can match or beat that. And he's going here. And uh, we've got the reverse DDT. Uh, doesn't get nothing doing. Uh, Knockout wise, and he's picked Benoit up, uh, which seems unwise. Uh, but maybe he thought he was too close to ropes, and he probably still is about too close to ropes. But he takes him down with a DDT, and that must be it. So Devon making light work of the rabid Wolverine. And he's doing a little dance, and hopefully, he'll be making a lot of love and getting down tonight. Oh, here comes his half brother. It's a the Dudley boys are exploding. It is the Battle of Dudleyville in the Slobber Knocker Challenge. Not since the mid-90s in ECW have these two fought uh, like they have in this one tonight. Devon off the ropes and takes his, takes his half-brother down with a big shoulder block. Going for it again. I hope he misses this time. These two know each other so well. They know each other's strengths, but more, maybe more importantly, they know each other's weaknesses as well as Devon takes him up and gets him down with the uh, back DDT. Uh, the reverse DDT wins again, and Devon is very happy with himself. So he's two in just over a minute and a half. That is good going for Devon. Here comes Trish last. Uh, her run ended early last time out, thanks to Lita. Uh, Devon will be hope Devon will be hoping to avoid Lita. She's ended. Uh, she's ended the last two runs uh, early. Um, and Trish will be hoping to redeem herself after uh, the last the last effort, only getting managing three, as we said at the top of the at the top of the video. Big super kick there from Devon, and he was going to go for the he was going to go for the reverse DDT again. Trish has felt the wood from the Dudley boys in the past. She's been through the table and she's been through the reverse DDT and is she going to go through the three count here? Yes, she is. So very impressive so far from Devon Dudley. Two and a half minutes gone, three victories down. Seven to tie, eight, two, be the outright leader. And Stephanie McMahon is between him and another victory. Stephanie, the, uh, the woman who ended Bradshaw's run. Uh, Bradshaw was uh, 20 seconds, had 20 seconds to last to the end, or 20 seconds potentially to get another victory, and Stephanie uh, Stephanie made him tap out to a, 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 a chicken wing, uh, or a half, a half cross face um, submission. So Devon will be looking to avoid that. As Stephanie is the last person, is the next person to succumb to the reverse DDT. This is a this is a deadly, deadly move uh, for Devon so far. But here comes someone even more deadly. It is Kane. Last time we saw Kane was in Chris Jericho's attempt. Stephon tries to roll him up here, and he doesn't quite get get him there. Big DDT. So Devon is Devon's going well here. As he takes Kane down with a big power slab, is he going to line him up for the reverse DDT? He certainly is. Devon is on a tear in this one. Not even four minutes have passed, and we have five on the counter for Devon Dudley, primarily a tag team wrestler. But he is making his singles time count here as Paul Bearer is coming to avenge his son. The father of destruction, Paul Bearer. He's caused problems for a few so far. 
Devon is looking to try and get him put away quite quickly as well, and he does take him up with a big suplex. Smart here from Devon to build that finisher meter up. Though. We're going to need to do that. Ah, big super kick for Devon right to the right to the kisser of Paul Bearer. Devon tried to go up top. That's uh, moving away from his from what he's what he's been uh, going with so far, and he's lost all the momentum. That might have been a mistake. Big gangs, I'm down with that big flying forearm there. Oh, and takes him down once again. As he gets up for the reverse DDT. And not quite the knockout again, but he's going to cover him. Potentially for the three. Yes, there he goes. So, just over five minutes gone. 5.04. Has elapsed for Devon. Six on the, uh, on the total. Here comes Funaki. So he's already uh, sat, his, or sat his. He's undertaken his. It's not an exam, but as a but as a battle, as a test of wills for a test of toughness for these guys. Funaki has already taken the slobber knocker challenge. Unfortunately for him, it ended on three. Uh, so not the best performance. Joint last performance now with Perry Saturn and Trish Stratus. So Funaki has a lot to prove here against Devon, fellow member of the tag team division. Devon with a flying four he was had the opportunity to go for the to go for the uh the the um, reverse DDT once again takes him down with a big jawbreaker this time, and I'm going to get him up again. He missed the opportunity there. We're going to have another big suplex here from Devon. Funaki missed that one. Another suplex for Devon here. The only one that brought him to the dance, I suppose. Goes and rolls him up, and Funaki is just too close to the ropes here. Oh, big super kick. Is this going to be the one for Devon? It looks like it is. He gets him up and he gets him down. No knockout again, but it should produce a three count. There we go. Seven on the board. This is... Devon is looking good. He'll be worried about that finisher meter, though. But potentially going to get up to two here. But three and a half minutes to go. With seven on the board. Here comes Mankind. The hardcore legend against a tag team legend here. Man can get some up and he drops him down on the back of his head with a big power bomb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, big DDT there for Devon and he's got that he's got the finisher meter back up. Bulldog! Bulldog takedown, he's going for another one as well. That was quite lucky there. It, Mankind put himself back in the position. That's another reverse DDT. Is it going to be another three count? Of course it is. Eight on the board with just over two and a half to go. Here comes X Pac. He had a good show on himself. Not quite got. Uh, didn't quite uh, get to the 10, but he had a very impressive show. But uh, Devon has already matched him. And he's got two and a half minutes to go as well. But these two, no love loss between X Pac and Devon Dudley. DX and DX and uh, the Dudley boys waged war over the summer of 2000. And Devon takes another man down with the reverse DDT. That's a very impressive show indeed from Devon Dudley. 2.11 left in the clock. Nine is on the scorecard. And here comes the boss. Vince McMahon is stands between Devon Dudley and a share of the lead. Now, what does Devon do? Does he try and take the boss down quickly with the finisher that he has? And then... Then goes hell for leather in the last minute or so. We are now getting down to the time where Devon needs to get... His priority must be to get to the 10 first off. As he moves the boss more into the centre of the ring. There's two. And there's three. Devon has a minute and a half to get one more fall and take the lead in the slow knocker challenge. Who is going to be 
up next for him is Perry Saturn. Perry Saturn is going to look to try and avenge the poor performance that he had. He's only on three uh, with Funaki, as we said, down there with Funaki and with Trish Stratus. Devon has a minute and 14 to go to try and become the new clubhouse leader on 11. And he's got it there. We've got a minute to go. That was a quick roll up. That was a quick roll up there on Perry. 106 to go. Devon to extend the lead, and here comes the road dog. Another member of DX. That the Dud no, as we say, no love lost between the Dudleys and DX. Back body drop there. Devon, is he going to try a DDT? Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Devon looking to get another, another couple of big moves in to maybe get another. There's the finisher. There's the finisher. Can Devon get the road dog in position? Yes, he can. And that's another count. There's twelve on the on the clock now. Twenty six seconds to go for Devon Dudley. And here comes Viscera. At one point was the clubhouse leader on seven way back in episode number two. I think we're going to run out of time. Viscera taking it to Devon. I think this is going to be it. Ten seconds left. But Devon Dudley has come out the traps flying. He has got 12 and is the new leader on the clubhouse. Devon Dudley, what a performance, sir. And you deserve to celebrate with that. So Devon now has the score to beat with 12. Who is going to be next up to the challenge? Find out next week on another episode of the Slobber Knocker Challenge.